Friedensreich Hundertwasser Friedensreich Hundertwasser was an artist and a designer of remarkable buildings. He was born Friedrich Stowasser in Vienna in 1928. His adopted name, which he began to use as a student, could be translated as Land of Peace with a Hundred Springs. This references his lifelong activity as an environmental campaigner, which underpinned the design of his buildings. In the 1950s, he made his name in the field of applied art, creating stamps, flags, coins and posters, as well as paintings. Although he was active in the field of architecture, his first building to make an impact was the Hundertwasser Krivina House, an apartment block in Vienna, completed in 1985, which he co-designed with the architect Josef Krivina. We will look at this building in more detail in a minute. His architectural philosophy was expounded in his writings and lectures, some of which he famously gave in the nude. The core principles are No straight lines Hundertwasser condemned the straight line as godless and a work of the devil. There is no such thing as a straight line in nature. They made people ill. He called for a boycott of this type of architecture, for which he held the modernist architect Adolf Loos responsible. Hundertwasser's buildings were therefore characterised by wavy lines and rounded forms, curved floors and walls. Facades have staggered heights and wavy roof landscapes, overhangs and recesses and irregularly mounted windows. An uneven floor is a melody to the feet, he said. Trust me, not after a pint of beer. He did have to compromise on this ideal in some respects to make rooms habitable. Window rights. Each house displays a large variety of window types. Houses, he said, were composed of windows, not walls. Windows respect the spirit of the inhabitants. Hundertwasser advocated that each tenant should have the right to scrape off the masonry and decorate the area around their windows to the distance that the arm could reach. This would be an expression of their individuality visible to everybody. The right to a third skin. People have control over their skin and their clothing, which he regarded as the second skin, and should therefore have control over the building that they lived in, which he regarded as the third skin. They should be able to decorate their buildings, giving due consideration to their neighbours and the stability of the building, significant caveats. Window rights was part of this principle. Tree duty. Plants should have the same rights as people, and people have an obligation to help them obtain these rights. What people take away from nature by building, they should give back again by incorporating plants into the buildings. All level surfaces belong to nature and should be planted. His buildings are notable for their extensive planting. A speciality of his houses is called the so-called tree tenants, which emerge from inside the house. They pay rent by cleaning the air, producing oxygen and enlivening and decorating the facade. The Hundertwasser Krivina House, Vienna. This is a block in the inner suburbs of Vienna containing 50 apartments, four business premises and one doctor's surgery. It is owned by Vienna Municipality, so these are social houses. Design work was begun in the late 1970s by Hundertwasser and the architect Joseph Krivina, who had previously worked for the council. He was one of the first architects to adopt green roofs, and he also thought that old building facades should be preserved. Hundertwasser had done much to pave the way for acceptance of innovative buildings that worked in harmony with their surroundings and with nature. But the two men fell out over the detailed objectives. 
Pundit Vasa sticking to his principles of window rights and tree tenants, whereas Kravina was more interested in quality control and the responsible handling of resources. However, Hundertwasser Vasa was absent in New Zealand when things started to get difficult with the project. Much of the design and project management was left to Kravina, but the building has Hundert Vasa's hallmarks, the wavy lines in bright colours on the façade, trees growing out of the building, undulating floors and fragments of tile which remind you of Gaudi. The building was constructed between 1983 and 1985. This unusual structure is now a tourist attraction in its own right, though tourists are not able to go inside the building. The Art House, Vienna The Art House is situated five minutes away from the Hundertwasser House. It represents the refurbishment of 19th century buildings to a design by Hundertwasser, constructed between 1989 and 1991. It has been used as a museum housing works by Hundertwasser and other artists. The design is a little different from many of his other works, being largely black and white rather than the trademark primary colours. The windows are much more regularly spaced than usual, reflecting the existing structure, and the façade is decorated with large amounts of tiles in a pattern designed to disguise the regularity of the windows. Trademark greenery is much in evidence. In the Meadows Housing Complex, Bad Sodern, Germany. This is a block of 17 apartments in the old part of Bad Soden, near Frankfurt am Main, adjoining two parks. The individual units are staggered in height and partly stacked like boxes to form a compact structure out of which emerges a fortified tower, giving the effect of a fortress. Each unit has its own terrace and roof garden. It was constructed between 1990 and 1993. Forest Spiral, Darmstadt, Germany. Completed in 2000, this complex of 105 flats, two shops, a cafe and a restaurant with a bar was built on the site of the former city abattoir. It is built in a U-shape which rises up in a spiral to a height of 40 metres. This is topped with a green roof which is walkable but accessible only to the tenants. The spiral encloses a green area with a children's playground and a pavilion through which runs a brook. The building is made of recycled concrete, the first time this had been used in Germany. The façade is decorated with quite narrow, irregular stripes intended to echo the many different layers of earth upon which the building is resting. To achieve the desired effect, the undercoat of plaster was mixed with glitter and iron filings and then sprayed with antique glazing in the chosen colours. Other Works Hundert Wasser completed many other buildings in his unorthodox style. These include a district heating plant in Vienna, an incineration plant in Osaka, his only work in Japan, a motorway service station, a school and a church. Most of the buildings are in Austria and Germany. Hundertwasser died in 2000 at the age of 71 while on the QE2 and is buried on his property in New Zealand. <laughs>